Can I get you some more coffee? Please. What gift, stranger? You stood us up. Hey kids, how you doing today? What can I get for you? I'll take the meatloaf and mashed potatoes. All right. No, uh, all. They're all the same. Okay, see you right back. You know, Jim may like your abuse, but I'm really not in the mood for it today, Diane. All right? Aw, Kitty's grown some claws. Wow. Diane. So, Chase, where were you? We waited as long as we could. I had to help my mom out some things. So, pop the ear up again? Calm down, man. I was only kidding. Jeez. How long are you going to put up with this? I can't do anything until I graduate. And besides, Mom still needs him. <laughs> How's the concert? Diane liked it, but I was too trash to remember. <laughs> so, we're still out for camping, right? Yeah, sure. You know, it would be nice to make it a foursome. I know. I've called Allison and even Gretchen. Gretchen? Oh, man. Yeah, I know. 
I need to get you a girlfriend. Thanks. But I'll find one of my own. Make sure she's from the same species. Jeez, Diane, give him a break. Okay, let's see. Got the meatloaf special for Jim. And who ordered the horseshoe with nuts? Must be yours. Can I get you anything else? Yeah, how about some water? You got it. And a side of mind your own business. Be right back. Have you ever wondered if UFOs were real? We may have some convincing proof. Last night, a local man was driving down Route 216 and caught spectacular footage of something falling from the sky in Canardin County. The man, who requested anonymity, shot this around 2.30 in the morning on his cell phone. That's it. Wow. That thing. <laughs> We spoke with our local physics instructor at CHS, an avid ufologist, Dr. Steve Martell. Dr. Martell, can you tell us some of your observations on this strange comet-like object? Sure, Judy. Uh, you have a very interesting video clip here. It shows a large object, although it's probably not an asteroid. I'm thinking more likely some kind of space debris. And see how the little pieces are falling, up, falling away? Um, it seems to be breaking up as it's entering the atmosphere. Normally, an asteroid would have broken apart at this height already. Uh, another interesting thing, it seems to be moving on its own. Um, as if it's being flown. Are you still looking for a weekend feature? Great. I think I got just the story you're looking for. I gotta get to Canterton. I'll call you later. Bye. Trajectory. Interesting. Maybe UFOs are real after all. <laughs> Maybe so. Thank you, Doctor. Coming up next, how many games will the Sox have to play to take the lead spot? We'll find out next. See it. That's amazing. Uh, there must not be an asteroid. Okay. Good.
Damn it, Chase. Get your ass moving. I don't want to be out in this heat any longer than you do. Sorry, Mitch. I'm just getting a little tired. Yeah. Well, me too. Now quit jacking off. And like I said, get your ass moving. Mom, what's up? It's nothing. Come on, I know when something's bothering you. Especially when you say, it's nothing. It's just that when I first saw you, walking up here, you looked so much like your father. He would be so proud of you. I know, Mom. I miss him, too. Cora! I swear I'm about to starve. Would you get your butt in here and fix me something to eat? Wait a minute. Mom, why do you put up with that idiot? He just abuses you, and you take him. I know, but he's a good man. And he takes good care of us. I don't care, Mom. If he hits you again, I swear I'm gonna kill him. Come on, Mom. It'll be all right. By the way, Chase. Look at this little thing I found in your room. I'm sorry, Mom. Mom? No, oh, boy. I always knew. You was a little good for nothing. You put on this act like you're so great. But I know the truth. You ain't nothing but a worthless waste of skin. You bastard. Stay out of my room. <laughs> Mom? Oh, hi. Are you alright? Yeah. Fine. Mom, listen. About the pipe. I only tried it once. I was with my friends and the things got a little... It's not about that, honey. I just wanted things to be back to normal, that's all. Mom, it's okay. I tried to make things right for us. I thought it would get better. Mitch was a good man. He said he was going to take care of us. I thought things would get better by now. I'm not a bad mother, am I? No. I'm not a bad person. I've done all right, haven't I? Yeah. Everything to me, everything 
We had so many good things ahead for us. Why did this have to happen? Why did this have to happen to me? So, how do you like your new shoes? Break your neck. You're the thing that was in my room last night. And I thought I was dreaming, but you're real. Show yourself. Show yourself! Oh. Okay. You're an alien. And you're... You're a girl. <coughs> oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, look, don't be scared. I didn't know. The, the, hold on, look. I, I'm not gonna hurt you. See, it's okay. I'm Chase. And d just, just stay there. Don't go anywhere, all right? Look, it's all right. Don't go anywhere. Just stay there. I'm going right over here. Hold on a minute. <sighs> See? It's just a bowl. I'm just gonna fix it. Just gonna fix it. Whoa! Two. No! Ugh. Space Lady! No! Hey! Are you there? Please don't go. It's okay. I, I just... I just want to talk to you. Guess what? You're not gonna believe this. That UFO? Yeah. The door? And the numbers? I saw her. You saw who? She's an alien. An alien? Like an illegal alien? It's no fun being an illegal alien. 
No, that's not what I'm talking about. She's a real alien. <laughs> a real alien? Yes. Where did you see her? Last night. In my barn. In your barn? <laughs> You're serious. Yes, I'm serious. How do you know she was a real alien, and what was she doing in your barn? She looked like an alien, and, um, I don't know what she was doing in my barn. She was hiding underneath the tarp. Well, what happened to her? She disappeared. She disappeared? Yeah, she disappeared. Poof! How? Now how would I know that? Anyways, she was there. I was sitting on top of her. But then I had to wrestle her down because she was trying to escape. Well, that's one way to get a girl. You're not helping. Okay, so there's an alien girl living in your barn. What are you gonna do? I, um, I don't know. See, that's why I came to talk to you. See if you had any ideas. Do you think she's still there? I don't know, she vanished. Although, I'm sure she didn't go too far. She might be from the ship in the video clip I sent you. Yeah, that's what I said. Well, if that ship crashed near your farm, it must still be there. When I get off work, I'll go pick up Diane, and we'll come on over. Deal? You have to bring Diane. Alright. I'll see you later. Have a good lunch. Come in. Dr. Martel. Uh, yes. Judith Trent, New Stylist Magazine. Pleased to meet you. Have a Good seat. Night. Thanks. Thanks for your time. Uh, do you mind if I record our conversation? Not at all. Turn yourself on. Just want to ask you a few questions, and I won't take up much of your time. I appreciate that. About the newscast yesterday. Uh, the asteroid UFO. <laughs> you seemed a little unsure about the whole thing. Mom? Okay. Oh, come on. You look great. Thanks. Where, where are you going? To town. I have an appointment. With whom? With an attorney. An attorney? some changes around here, starting with my husband. Really? Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, thank God. I thought about our conversation last night, and what you said made so much sense. You're so grown up now. I mean, look at you. <laughs> you can make your own decisions now. <laughs> and like you said, Sometimes you just have to let go, right? Mm hmm Okay. So I know you're going camping, and I want you to have a good time, but I need you to make sure that Jim doesn't drink too much, okay? All right, all right. Okay. I'll tell him okay. not to. Okay. I will. Okay, I'm going to go have some girl time. I'm going to go into town. I love you, and I'll see you later. I love you so much. I love you too, Mom. Oh, I'm so glad. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. All right. Okay. Mom, wait, wait. Listen, listen. I'm really proud of you. I really am. I'm so happy that you're doing this. <laughs> I love you too. Okay. Alright, love you. Alright, go have fun. Go have fun. Bye. Hey, Jim. Hey, Chase. Hey, Diane. Where's this alien girl of yours? Let's go see. Come on. So I came out here last night because I thought I heard something in the corner. And she was hiding underneath the tarp. Right over there. Why'd you come out here? Because I heard a noise. Why? <laughs> Are you sure it wasn't this? Oh, she's hot. <laughs> Nothing like the real thing, hot huh, Chase? Diane, please stop. Make me. So anyways, I yelled at her, and then she materialized. And then she ran away. 
Like, go all your girlfriends. <sighs> well, she's gone now. Yeah. Like she was ever here. Chase, your sick little fantasies have finally made you as crazy as your mom. Now you're dreaming up invisible girl aliens. Hey, it's okay, man. I got this. You have to have a talk, Diane. Why, Pookie? What'd I do? We'll be back in a second. All right. Talk. What's your name? My name is Zoa. Guys? Guys! Ahem! She's here. She's a real alien, but you gotta hold it down. She's skittish. Come on. Come on, Diane. No. Yeah, come on, come on. No. Oh, what are you, afraid? Maybe. Oh, just come on. No, come on, no, 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 Zoa! Hey, look, it's okay. They're my friends. They won't hurt you. <laughs> You've got to stop doing that. Zoa, this is Jim, and this is Diane. Hello. Hi. Whoa, what happened to your eyes? You mean this? The sun is too bright for me. Huh? Those are sunglasses? <laughs> too cool. Can I try them on? Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, everyone. I'm a freaking alien. Diane, give them back. So, how'd you get here? My ship crashed. Ah, so you were the fireball that we saw last night. So where's your ship? Over there. <gasps> oh, Chase, help! This was. This was. So Hey, are you okay? What the hell was that? I don't know. What happened? It... Hold on, come on, come on. What? What's going on? We gotta go after him. Oh, come on. Press next one. What's that? Push. Press. Press next. Are you all right now? Yeah, I'm fine. You sure? Hey, give me your belt. Mm -hmm. Here, let's tie this guy up. Oh. 
We don't need him getting loose. Yeah. Thanks. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Who, who was that? That was a goblin monk. Wait, a what? He's a religious zealot from our world. Oh, well, did he come here with you? No. Well, then how did he get here? Chase, there are many things that you don't know about your time. What, our time? Mm, we are not from your time. Are you some sort of time traveler? Yes. You're kidding. Well, then, how did you get here? And this. Oh! Now that's a spaceship! Wallas! Wallas, mach was Fuß! Was jetzt? Mach nichts Fuß! Hey! Mach nichts Fuß! What's he saying? Wallas! Wallas, mach was Fuß! He said that I'm breaking the code of the Gobi. Mach nichts Fuß! So what? I shouldn't be telling you um, so barbarians Next ride. about our world. Barbarians? barbarians? Hey, I'm not the one that was choking you. What's next to this? Take the... This barbarian just shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> This is a time machine? Whoa! This is the news article for my room! Yes, we have been coming here for many generations. But why? Why haven't we heard about you before? You have. Many people have. And each time we come in contact with you, a little more of our technologies revealed in you. But why? Why go through all this trouble? We have no choice. We collect DNA from this time period to supplement our genetic diversity. Chase? Mm, genetic diversity? Chase! What? Chase, there's a dead guy in this tube. <laughs> oh, D did you put him in here? Yes. He remained in stasis inside the chambers. What happened to him? He died in a crash. Oh my god, I'm... I'm so sorry. Me too. The captain was a good friend of mine. Uh... Guys? We've got another problem. The monk dude is... gone. Uh oh. Uh, that's not good. Um, Zoa. I assume that he's coming back, so we should get you out of here. We were planning on going camping. Yeah. Would you like to come with us? It will give us a chance to relax and think about what we can do to help you. That sounds enjoyable. Chicky, it's always fun with me. Come on! Just a moment. I want to bring something with us. Hey, Zoe. Yes, Jim? The back half of this ship. It's the main power source, right? Yes. Well then, how are you getting power up here? The ship is running off of batteries right now. We lost main power when the cables broke during the crash. Can I keep this connector? Sure. Alright then, let's go. Connector? Coming? Yeah, let's go. Look all this marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for helping me. I was getting pretty lonely. I miss my family. 
I know, they're worried about me. Well, when was the last time you spoke with them? I told them goodbye when we were leaving. Would you like to see? Yeah, sure. That is my brother. He's the senior one of the household. Those are my sisters and brothers. Yes, I have 32 brothers and sisters. You what? 32? Yes, we are a normal sized family. Jeez, that's bigger than any family I've ever heard of. Your poor mother must be exhausted. Not to mention stretched out. I don't have a mother or father. You don't? Then, how do you make babies? They come from a building center. A baby factory? Mm, yes, I suppose. Whatever happened to hot and heavy leather slapping sex? Sex? Yeah. Intercourse? Oh no, we don't do that. You don't? You've got to be kidding me. If it weren't for sex, there wouldn't be any reason to live. <gasps> we don't have a need for it anymore. Why? Technology has rid us of most genetic diseases. Our building centers control the health of all babies. Oh, how boring. Then, why do you have to come back and collect DNA from us? One of the unexpected issues our scientists faced was genetic diversity. As our genes became more disease-free, they also became much more similar. It wasn't a problem until until something horrible happened. In the southern region, a disease spread from a village to a nearby town. People started dying within a few days. No one knew what caused the death, until scientists found that the mutated virus was now infecting humans. We had become so genetically similar that we had no natural defense against the disease. Millions of people died. When temporal displacement was invented, it allowed us to go back in time. We came back to this era to collect DNA. Certain people from this time period are not susceptible to this disease. We then introduced this new DNA into our new children, who are immune to the old disease. But it keeps mutating. So, you've got to keep coming back to collect new samples? Precisely. Yawn! Call me old-fashioned. Hey, let's go take a walk. Where? Over by the lake. What is over there? Well, let's go see. Come on. Please, I wanted to thank you. For what? For being so kind to me. Oh, don't mention it. You would have done the same for me. 
I don't know. I would have never had a chance had you not helped me. You're welcome. You know, I like you. Jeez, I wanted to ask you something. Sure. I saw Jim and Diane were kissing and they looked like they were enjoying it. We don't show that kind of affection for each other. And? And I think I would like to try a kiss. Do you give me a kiss? Sure. I didn't like it so much. Well, I'm sure Jim isn't as good at the kisser as me. Really? I wonder how good at kissing Jim is. Oh, uh, I was just kidding. Uh, I'm sure he's just like me. Hmm. What are you doing? I was just kissing you. No, I mean with the hands. I was just going to touch you. But I can't do that. Why? We are not allowed. But. You were kissing me. But it doesn't give you the right to do that. Well, then why were you teasing me? Teasing you? I wasn't teasing you. I want to return now. But... Stupid, stupid, stupid. Hey, wait up, Sawa. <laughs> hey. Hey, look. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. No, you shouldn't. See, it's just that I enjoyed kissing you so much that I guess things got a little out of control. Please do me a favor of remaining in control. Yes, I will. Friends? Friends? Zoa? Zoa? What are you doing? I'm swimming, Celia. Yes, I can see that. But where are all your clothes? Uh, why would I go swimming with my clothes? They would get wet. Oh, brother. Come swim with me. Ah. Oh. Hi. Nice day, huh? Yes, it will be. Zoa? Oh! Oh! Ah! 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 Oh yeah, I like it. Jim? Diane? Chase! Chase, help me! Hey! Chase! Oh! Shut up! We'll be out in a minute. <laughs> oh, come on. Now turn around and bend over. Oh, stop that! Oh! Seems like. Hello, sucker. 
soccer. <laughs> really? That's very cool. Can go? No. Well, ladies, I think we're all packed up. Any of you getting hungry? Yeah. All right, then let's go. But what about... Uh, hold on a sec. I think I have a solution. Oh. All right, we're gonna see if we can make you blend in just a little more. So here, I borrowed these from my mom. She had them when she had cancer. Trust me, she'll never miss them. We're gonna have fun. Yes, I like it. I think so. <laughs> Guys, what do you think? Yeah, I think so too. It's much better. All right, then let's go. After you. Back again? Seems like I just saw you kids yesterday. My, my, aren't you pretty? Ah, Miriam, uh, let me introduce you to Zoe. She's from overseas on an exchange program. Welcome, Zoe. You've got yourself a good friend in Chase. I know, she's very lovely. Lovely? Chase, looks like you finally found someone that likes you as much as me. Now, what can I start your kids out with today? Uh, I think we'll start out with orange juice, please. Mm -hmm. And I'll have coffee, and he'll have milk. The left breast is 2%, right? Do you want that in a glass, honey? Or do you just want to take it straight from the tap? I'll be right back. So, Zoa. How are we going to get you out of here? I can't leave. The reason we crashed was because we had a major problem with our main engine. So, we can't fly you out of here. Is there a way you could contact someone to come get you? Not without main power. When the back half of the ship tore away from the front, it ripped the cables from the generator. But if we could hook the cables back up, you would get main power to the main part of the ship, right? Mm, yes, I think so but they are badly damaged. But if we could restore power, you could contact someone. Yes, of course. I think I have a way we might be able to help you. Really? Jim works for a company that restores vintage cars. Wonderful. Jeez, I could go home. Ah, oh, that's... That's great, Zola. So, after we finish eating, I need to go pick some things up, but first I gotta drop you guys off. friends quit tearing up my driveway yes sir what's that oh that was my stepfather Mitch sounds like he's already been drinking but anyways my mom's home I'd like you to come in and meet her Are you sure I've never been more sure
Close that damn door. You letting the bugs in. You ain't got no sense of, come on, come on, come on, yeah, yeah. Hi, Mom. Oh, hey, sweetie. Oh. Uh, this is Zoa. Hi, Zoa. Um, Chase has never told me about you before. Ooh, sorry, Mom. Zoa is a foreign exchange student. Just stay here for a while. A well, foreign exchange student, Zoa. Welcome to our house. Can I get you something to drink? Oh, no, thank you. She just purchased breakfast for me. Really? Uh, well, he's going to be purchasing breakfast for me tomorrow. Uh, uh, well, uh, how did it go, Mom? Oh. It went perfect. The lawyer said everything is going perfectly. You're still on board with everything, right? Yeah. Yeah, are you kidding me? Okay. I think it's great. Okay. Yeah. Um, listen, we're, um, we're going to my room for a bit. All right, oh. so I'll oh. see you later. Okay. Uh, well, so uh, it was um, nice to meet you. Oh, yes. I like meeting you, too. I've got something I want to ask you. Yes? If you could find a way out of here, if you could leave here, would you take me with you? Mm, I... You can think about it if you want. I won't be any problem. But Chase... It's just, I, I really, really want to be with you. But if there is someone else back in your time, then I wouldn't want to interfere. But it's just, my life here sucks. I hate it. And frankly, I'm not looking forward to living in a dead-end world like this place, but ever since you came into my life, I felt excitement and happiness. I never met anyone like you before. Chase, you're very special to me. You have shown me love for the first time and I will always appreciate that. But it's not about how much I love you or how much you love me. It's about my time, my world. But I don't understand. If you say you love me, then we should be together. Because I love you too. It's not that. In my time, the world is a very different place. How so? You wouldn't survive. Why? Over the past 500 years, the world has gone through many changes. The biggest change is the atmosphere with the ozone depletion. Global warming? Yes, global warming. There is now very little protection from the harmful radiation hitting the earth from the sun. We have grown immune to this effect, but you would cook, even though there are more clouds and it is darker than in your time. The invisible rays would destroy your skin and kill you. I don't want that to happen. Isn't there something like in wear? Or, or like some super sun solution? No, it would only be a temporary solution. Our buildings and lifestyle are designed to let in as much natural light as possible. The only way you could survive is in a cage. Oh, I see. But you could live, no? I couldn't do that for you. It's not fair. Turn here. I think there's a back way in where they won't see us. All right, great. This 
isn't how I left it. It has been repaired. Well, it looks like they knew what they were doing. Chase! Look, buddy, you need to hit the road, or I swear we're gonna tie you up with barbed wire this time. Bio Sam Onach Toji. Fizni Vazik Broda. Zasto so vam pomaže mi sada. Ko sližejte pokosali, ozližejte mi ni rani že. Zo, miže o tom. Če pa boda dako. Še zak vizati ovu tažnju. Če biti vam pomoči. He's the one that repaired the ship. I think he will help us. You did this? Yes. You speak English? Of course I do. I've been listening to you for a while. My name is Boscadero. Then you already know who we are? Yes. Well then why are you here? I? Like Zoa. Crashed here many years ago. And when I found that another of my kind had crashed, I wanted to help. But you attacked her. I was trying to protect her. It is better that we are not disclosed. Some of us have been tortured by your government. Looking for weapons technology. But when I found that you were trying to help Zoa, I knew I could trust you. That's what we're here for. I got enough wire in the back of my truck. Took up both halves of this bucket. Excellent. Let me show you the preparations I've made for you. What I need is more wires this size. Okay. Yes, I'm with News Palace Magazine. I'm researching a story and I'm wondering if I can ask a few questions. Tell him to go away! We don't need more shit in this house! Um, I'm afraid I can't help you, my husband. Did I mention that we pay well for useful information? Well, hello there, Mr. Uh... Judas. Judas Trent. Mr. Trent, come on in. Judas, how nice of you to stop by. Can I get you a beer? Car, we're gonna get him a beer. Uh, no, it's all right. I, I don't drink when I'm working, so. Oh, well, too bad. Car, I'll take you a beer. Come on in here and sit on down. Now, what can I help you with? I understand that you will pay for information. About how much we talking about? Well, uh, if it's a featured story, Sources could split a pot of, say, a thousand dollars. Well, shoot, son. Start asking. Well, did you see the news report about the comet crashing here in Canada County? Mm, no. Do you, uh, watch the news? Well, I'll tell you. I do watch the sports. But the rest? It's all bullshit. Okay, uh, well... There are some people that think that it was a uh, UFO that crashed and not an asteroid. Now, you don't believe that, do you? Well, that's what I'm writing the article about. Oh, sorry about that. But let me ask you something. If someone else in this family had information, do I still get paid? Of course. All right then. Cora! Cora! Get your ass in here! It looks like the little fantasy is yours. Actually, gonna be worth something. Now, you tell Mr. Trent exactly what you thought you saw out the window a few nights ago. Well, 
When I was a little girl, I used no, to No, sleep. no, no, not that crap again. The thing you woke me up about. No, it's all right. Please continue. When I was a little girl. Can we go on vacation? You uh, mind if I record this one? Um, no, it's it's fine. You were saying about when you were a little girl that you Yeah. When I was a little girl, I used to have this reoccurring dream. I'd be in my room at night and I'd see a blue light float outside the window. I'd get up out of bed and go to my window and it would open up and these blue tentacles would come in and wrap themselves around me and take me outside. I couldn't do anything about it. I tried to scream but nothing would come out. It was as if, as if I was paralyzed or something. Yes? Well, I had that same dream again a few nights ago. I haven't had that dream since I was a kid. Except this time it was so different. It was so vivid, so real. I used to wake up when I had the dream when I was younger, but this time I saw the dream all the way to the end. I was taken outside and brought to this spaceship or something. And there was this bright light and I saw these tall, thin people with big black eyes. And they strap me down to a table and start poking me with needles. It was, it was awful. It had been raining off and on all week. And the night I had that dream, this really bad lightning storm had moved in and it woke me up. I went to the window and I looked out and I saw an asteroid flying down from the sky. It had a trail of smoke coming off of it and it was moving really fast. It flew over the pond and it must have crashed behind the trees along the ridge line. But I don't think it was an asteroid. I think it was a spaceship. Did you tell anyone? No. I had other problems that night. Did you go see where it crashed? No, I, I didn't want to cause any problems. You're not causing any problems by reporting something like this. You're helping people. I don't know. I don't know how much longer I'm going to stay here. I don't want to cause any waves. Do you think you could show me where it crashed? I guess so. Great. Let's go. Now? Sure. Well? She tell you anything useful? Yes, she did. All right, then. Where's my money? Oh, well, we don't pay until after the story's ready. I don't think so. Where are you two going off to anyhow? Well, your wife's going to show me where she thought the spaceship crashed. If you think... I'm going to let a nut job like you walk off alone in them woods with my wife. You got another guest coming. But that's the whole thing. We're supposed to go see. I don't care. You don't pay me no money. You don't walk off in no woods with my wife. How do I know you ain't some kind of pervert? Sir, that's enough. Enough. We got to go see. You get your pansy ass off my property. But the spaceship, I gotta, see, I gotta see it. She ain't telling you shit. Now you stay away from my wife and get the hell off my property. Oh. 
Oh, really? You little son of a bitch. Nobody flips me off. Can you hand me another connector? Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, ready to test the green line. Okay, we're good. Next. There's another three lines. Oh, what else? I need five lines of the 18 gauge reel and that should be about it. I'd like your ladies to take this cable to the other part of the ship. Be careful. And, uh, go slowly. Mitch, wake up. <coughs> what? What? Come on, wake up, Mitch. I need to talk to you. <coughs> what? What is it? I'm leaving you, Mitch. What? I'm divorcing you. Cora. Why? Why? Because I can't take it anymore. Oh, you can't take it no more. All I do is take care of you, that boy, and I... You have been abusive to me and abusive to my child and you've created a living hell for us. And I can't take it anymore. All right then. That's how I get paid back. Go on. Go on, it ain't nothing but a little whore anyhow. I am not afraid of you anymore. You are never gonna hit me or my child ever again. Do you hear me? I am out of here. Cora. Cora. Cora! You get back here! So do you think we're ready to try it? All of the connectors are hooked in and tested, but the question is if the power plant has sustained any major damage. There's no way to know until we turn it on. Let's go. Once you stand there, we're ready on the dial, and you can hold the cable. I think it's down that side. Right down there? Yeah. Right down there? Okay. Okay, got a good connection. Throw the breaker. <gasps> it's working! I, I've got the control panel, it's working! <gasps> it's working! Are you ready to start it up? Yeah, 
How does it look? Yeah, it looks like everything is working. That should do it. I have activated the distress beacon. Now all we can do is wait. Very good. So, did it work? I got it, babe. I did it. I got the photos. You thought you could get the best of me? There's a sight I don't see every day. <laughs> you don't think he'll be back again, do you? I'd be surprised if he stopped before he cleared the county line.
What are these? They are diamonds. Wow. Wow. These are amazing. No, no. No, I, I, I can't accept these. This must be incredibly valuable. They are during this time, but in our time they are fairly common. We use this as a power source for the ship. Thanks. You said you came looking for DNA. Can you see if my DNA is compatible with your needs? If you'd like, sure. Answers, please. No, come here. And bend over. Uh -huh. This will inject a small amount of painkiller, so you won't feel a thing. But you may feel a little lightheaded. <sighs> Why did you have to take blood from back there? I didn't. I don't believe it. What? Your DNA is compatible. Really? No, you don't know what this means. It is very rare that we find a suitable donor thousands of people before we find one that is compatible. You are a perfect match. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, you will help many people. Not a problem. We are time travelers. Well, Mr. Buscadero, are you going back with Zoa? No. My destiny is to stay here and help others. I will remain. Pleasure to know you. I have learned much about life. I hope that's a good thing. Something tells me there's gonna be some changes about making babies in your time.
Chase was right. He is a better kisser. <laughs> My blessings go with you. You are a unique and free spirit. We can all learn something from you. Thank you. you most of all. I truly love you. Thank you for showing me your world. Maybe someday I can do the same for you. Now I must go, but I will not forget you. I, I won't forget you either, Sola. You know, you can come and visit me anytime you like. I'll be here. You may want to give this back to your mother. <laughs> yeah. back with our special guest, Chase Kimball, head of the ZOA Institute for Environmental Solutions. Chase, you've just returned from a world conference and you've had an amazing impact. You also have a pretty unique way of getting world leaders to listen to you. They promise to reduce dangerous emissions that can damage the atmosphere. But I give them a new technology that provides a nearly limitless supply of green energy. And that is? Diamonds. Yep, diamonds. A very special friend and I had discovered a way to extract energy from diamond crystalline structure. Sounds very expensive. It is now, but I'm developing a method that will make this new technology much more affordable. Well, put me down for the first affordable 10 carat, okay? <laughs> yeah, okay. Thanks for coming to the show today. And we'll see you tomorrow. I had the chance of my life, the chance to make my dreams right, then my pupil shrunk in the light and I just froze. The
Summer day.